aka Young to the Snow, aka the High Girl Coach, and aka Mrs. Revlon. Today we're gonna do a look with some of the products that are in my Halloween mailer. So boom, we're gonna use this palette. <laughs> I always like to start with brown. And it's gonna be so simple and easy. It's gonna go so quick. I was watching this one anime on Netflix. I'm really not sure how to say the name. Kakiguru. So anyway, the girl is like gambling and she just gets so excited with the thrill of gambling and she just be winning and it be scaring the shit out of everybody else. And I just feel like that relates to me because I be winning and it be scaring the shit out of these people. So I did my hair like her. An inspired look. Let's get that shit all in that crease. Spread that shit out. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever you do on the top, you gotta do on the bottom. Like October is like my favorite month besides February. Cause it's really time to start getting spooky. And I'm a spooky bitch anyway. I'm going back and forth between the two browns, the two darkest browns at the end. And I put the lighter brown on the top. I'm gonna go in with another brush. It's a little fluffier, so I can just blend it out. I ain't gonna hold you, I might put a little eyebrows on, cause, <laughs> what if the wind blow? Make me like, damn bitch, you just decided no eyebrows today? Okay, pull. One year, me, Darren, Queenie, and Jayla, we dressed up like ninjas, and we went to the booty club, and we just had the best time ever. That might be my favorite costume because I got to do it with my friends and I really like dressing up as like a group, like a unit. We did Mortal Kombat last year, that was fire. I was Melina, Melina's like my favorite character. I can't wait till y'all see what we are this year. So we have, it's like a liquid eyeshadow, eyeliner, whatever you wanna do with it. I think we should take it there. And it goes on like super smooth, like a real YouTuber. That's fire. Okay, so yeah, it's like a, a midnight blue or whatever. So I just want to make the, the look a little more dark because it is Halloween. So we want to get a spooky vibe. Okay, because y'all didn't know we was about to go there. I didn't know we was about to go there. This is too good. Come on, rub on. It's really easy. You know, like the, the little liquid eyeliner tips usually are tiny and you have to damn near be a surgeon to make sure it comes out right. But this is just, it's just big enough. And whatever this is, it's just smooth enough. Just going perfect. There's another side to it, and it's more glittery. And I'm gonna go over the darker one just to give it a little sparkle. And this stuff like dry pretty quickly. You're not really making a huge mess. I don't know if y'all remember this player palette from the last tutorial. <laughs> this one is called Player, like me. <laughs> we had to bring my girl back out. She had all the pretty blues. I think I'm gonna take the, the brown first because it's really dark in this palette. Just go over the top to make it more smoky. So I'm gonna take this green that's in player, not the lime green, the, the darker green next to it. And I'm gonna go underneath just to give it a little spice. And it's still dark enough. It looks almost brown, but you can still tell a little pizzazz came. Just blend it into the, the cat eye you made. On Halloween, you kind of want to look like you've been crying or <laughs> you're just super dark, like your mood, your aesthetic, your Pinterest page. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna go back in and just darken it back up a bit. Gotta redo the glittery part with the more sheer one. Keep it consistent. I know some of y'all don't know about that. Some of the men. Okay, so I'm just use the pen. And I'm always super scared about using these, but this is like my favorite kind of tip. This goes on so easy. And I usually don't like pens because they don't go on easy. Like why y'all ain't put enough eyeliner in here? But when I do use pens, right? Like, and I don't know if this is something that people already do, but I like tap the line that I wanna make and then I start like shaping it. Baby, this is me. My favorite thing to use from Revlon is the lip gloss. Lately, it's been the eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner. Like, I can't do nothing without my liquid eyeliner. Like, girls like, I'm not going nowhere without gloss and lashes. I'm not going nowhere without brows and eyeliner. 
tapping, making sure that I got it good in the lash line. But honestly, as long as you made the, the inside shape and the outside shape, like whatever is going on in the middle, like just make sure it blends in with the, the darker eyeshadow because everything is dark anyways. I'm gonna use this brown one. <laughs> use black I probably also would have used black but I feel like this brown can make my eyes pop like I said I'm gonna give myself a little eyebrows just enough just a little peekaboo see how dramatic my eyes are in this? <laughs> barely eyebrows but this is how you gotta trick the boys be half-assed with them because they half-assed with you see there's already a major difference Jesus I was giving editorial on why <laughs> I'm not sure if that really made a difference but we needed it, okay, just in case the wind blows. Now I'm just gonna clean up around my face. I'm gonna take my lighter foundation and just clean up all the other mess I made. Not so bad, honey. Okay, so I really like to make my eyes pop more, make them look bigger, let y'all know I see y'all. So I'm gonna take the player palette again, and I'm gonna use this lighter blue. That's almost a silvery color. And I'm going to go in the corners of my eye. This really be the icing on the cake right here. This will be making boys say, oh, you got some pretty eyes. Maybe I love your eyes. Thank you. It's a red line. You see how they just woke the eye up? Hello, good morning, refreshed. Just look, I don't know what number brush this is, but we're using it to put our powder underneath our eyes. <laughs> Am I got makeup in my bangs? So I'm gonna use Black cherry to line my lips. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna do the whole lip, black cherry, and actually, we're gonna go and line it with onyx. I'm gonna wipe a little, Just blend it. So it still look a little ombre. I'm gonna go back in with the black cherry and go over it with a little gloss. And this is, I think it's a black cherry gloss actually. You just want your lips to just look crazy juicy. You want your lips to say, give me a kiss. Like, do you see? No lash, lash. That shit just woke up. Girl, I don't know which one of these creepy boys I'm about to go see. Anime and chill. My ideal date would be to binge watch an entire anime series that neither one of us have seen under a fort in the living room with hot cheetos with lime and a pink lemonade brisk <laughs> i'm having to hold my lashes up to the sky bitch because i can't tell we'll be the front we'll be the back hold on the glue coming blow it out a little bit still go cat like the rest of your look. Look how that lash just really turned the look up. Girl, girl. So what you gonna wanna do now, after you got your bad bitch lashes on, get your so fierce and just go underneath. Cause girl, see I know I probably scared you in the beginning, right, with the look. You didn't know what it was gonna come out like. You didn't trust me. So the last thing, one of the last things we're gonna do is go in with our highlight. This is Daybreak. The highlight really just, whoo, bitch. Bitch, you can see me from across the room, huh? So with that same brush, oh, this brush match me. Shout out to Ribline. The same brush, I'm gonna just slightly contour. All that super popping contour y'all be doing, I ain't there yet. Now this motherfucking <laughs> set and spray me about to take my eyeballs out. This shit not going nowhere. Okay, and that is the look. Yumiko the Stallion. <laughs> 